What's the best part, the most fun part, about being you? The most fun part about being me. All right, the first case uh, this afternoon is uh, Justin Bieber. How do your parents think about what you do? My parents? I make them proud, bro. Oh, you make them proud. Yeah. I make them proud, yeah. Yeah, you tell them. You tell them, yeah, I, I stalk people. Stalk people for a living? What'd you say? You heard what I said, man. What'd you say? You heard what I said, man. Lose, lose your f***ing face. I'm going to eat this old f***ing little cock. Um, I mean, I, I, I always say, like, I love traveling. Fame does crazy things to people. It changes their personality, warps their sense of reality, and perhaps even makes you do things you would normally never even dream of doing. Justin Bieber is a prime example of someone with the type of personality that when mixed with fame and unlimited money becomes a time bomb. I never used to care about Justin Bieber. I mean, I still don't. And why should I? His awful music is not for me. And he just seemed like an innocent kid who hit it big, starting from seemingly humble beginnings through YouTube and rising to the point where now he makes well over $60 million a year. But as more and more information comes out about Mr. Bieber, he becomes less sincere and now comes across more as a... Just an arrogant, self-centered little He's wired, he's got a bomb! He's 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 bomb. One, two, 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 two. I mentioned how fame does crazy things to people, and I have a theory about this. I think a large part of it depends on your most basic form of personality. Justin Bieber comes across as if he was raised from the beginning with a lust for fame and fortune. Whereas, now I know this might seem like a strange comparison, Notch, the creator of Minecraft, appears to be a very level-headed and grounded individual, despite having hundreds of millions sat in the bank. Notch keeps himself to himself, but still seems very sincere because he never set out with a single idea of wanting to become a star. Now I know being a pop star is a whole different beast, and Notch is not a teenager, and he doesn't have thousands of 12 year old girls pestering him for an autograph or to marry him, and who knows, he might buy boxes full of hamsters and murder them one by one for all we know. But the point is people treat fame very differently. The thing that pisses me off about Bieber is how he claims that he's sincere and humble. To stay humble and keep your family close. But then goes off and races his Lamborghini and gets arrested or tries to attack paparazzi. There even used to be a time where he himself made fun of how power hungry and mad he might transform. And it's just sad to watch. Because that's what he does now. I'm a star. I do what stars do. I ride on yachts, I autograph lady lumps, and I pay people to slap them. And the saddest part is, none of this is even a surprise. We all knew this was going to end up happening sooner or later. He's just too much of a shallow tool, a shell of a real human. And we all knew he would end up self-destructing and would become a menace. But do I feel sorry for him? Well, yes and no. Sure, it's easy to say, yeah, it must be real hard being Justin Bieber with all those millions of dollars. But to be honest, I have no real strong feelings either way towards this whole story. Imagine what it must be like to be pestered and followed and harassed and hated by every single person you meet. These people who, despite not even knowing you, have already formed a very strong opinion either way about you. And that must be hellish. What I don't understand is why he just doesn't leave. Take a break, buy a small island and just f***ing relax away from the leeches of society. Ultimately though, it's impossible to relate to him. We can hypothesize and make assumptions about how his life might have been with or without the fame. But in the end, I sit more on the side of, who gives two flying shits about him? It's not like he's the only child star to rise to fame and completely fall apart. People like Michael Jackson, Miley Cyrus, and this human gopher hybrid are all the same. I've been pissed off at society many times before, but Christ people, our celebrity obsessed culture is just plain embarrassing. We put all our time and effort into some shit about deporting Justin Bieber or whatever, but as long as he's only harming himself and destroying his own life, who cares? If anything, he's doing nothing but bringing in millions of dollars for your own damn country, so dedicating so much time to hating him is ultimately futile. And this is coming from the guy with a YouTube channel called I Hate Everything. Sorry that this episode wasn't much fun or full of hilarity, but really, who gives a shit about Justin Bieber? I say we just ignore him and let him gradually fade away. Right, so last time I asked the question, what internet fad or meme gets on your nerves the most? 
A lot of people truly hate what does the fox say, but the majority really hate Doge, or Dodge, or whatever the hell it is. Stupid either way. So this episode's question, who do you think is the worst popular musician, musician around today? Who do you think is the worst popular mus- Oh my god, I can't say it. Who do you think is the worst popular mus musician around today? I'm not going to do it again. Does Nicki Minaj make you lose faith in humanity? Does Will I Am make you want to strangle a piglet? I'm just, I've just lost it. Tell me in the comments below for a chance to be featured at the end of the next episode. So as always, what do you think about Justin Bieber? Actually, I don't say that every time. I mean, I usually just ask, what do you think? This episode just happens to be about Justin Bieber, so what do you think? Thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. Bye.